What's going on, people? All right, so it's the same day as we made the last vlog. As you can tell, still got the same clothes on. My hair still isn't cut. The reason why is in the last vlog, y'all see my hair was cut is because that that last vlog and this vlog is the same day, literally a couple minutes apart. So technically, I'm about to go get my hair cut after this video. It's going to be technical, but let's not think about it too much. So this vlog is going to be... The um, top, top five. Top five what? That top five movies that you should watch. Top five movies that you should watch. Not me this time. You. I need to stop spinning. I'm so sorry. Um, top five movies that you should watch. I don't know if you probably have seen them. Probably haven't. If you haven't, let me know. Comment down below. But uh, first movie that you should watch is... Venom. Yeah. Venom. Venom to... Great movie. I went to go see it, and it actually seen it twice. That's how good it was. I seen it twice. I seen it once with Yoli. I seen it the second time with my friend Dante. That movie is great. It's a great. I heard it was like funny. That's all. It's funny too because like the venom, venom how like it attaches to his skin. It's like since it's like inside of him, it's like it can speak. To, it's like a conscience. Venom is his conscience and. Like a pair, he's not a pair, he doesn't like being called pairs. I'm not gonna spoil that for y'all, but Paris. if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's a great movie. Like, I might watch it again. I'm not paying for it because I got a fire stick, but I might watch it again sometime <laughs> soon. It's a great movie. It's it's funny too. It's funny, action, all that. So if you like that type of stuff, go watch it. Second movie. Second movie that you should watch is Rampage. Rampage. Rampage is okay. It's like it's like you seen it. Yeah, it's like when this animal, this animal killed um, this monkey or ape killed like a nephew or family person. It, he scratched him and then he got hit with like a boulder of something. And then he started turning big and then humongous. And then they were called by a beacon to go to destroy the world, I guess. It's something. Basically, so it's like, it's like, it's literally, all right. This movie, I'm not, no racist um, jokes here, none of that. It's a white version of King Kong. That's all it is. It's literally an albino monkey. That's it. A albino gorilla. I don't think was he at first he was mm, he art. was he was the same color that he was when he no, was it? he was yeah he was he was always white right mm -hmm. yeah, but King Kong was just big from the jump um rampage he started off little and he got he got he just got bigger because like he said there was an asteroid or a meteor or something hit the earth and whatever that was in there made all these animals turn big and something was calling them so they was yeah, fucking up half the city to go see what that was that was calling him. But it's literally an albino version of King Kong. The Rock, the Wayne, the Rock Johnson is in that movie too. Great actor. All that shout out to him. But it's a good movie. At the end of the movie, I don't know if he was as big as King Kong. Um, or probably bigger or probably smaller. I don't know. They they put him back to like his regular size. Yeah, but I'm talking about when he when he actually got like how he was his full really big. size. He was big as shit. I don't know how big though. But if you watch it, find out. Tell me what you think, if you think it was bigger than him or not. Next movie. The next movie is... Incredibles 2. Incredibles 2. Not one, but two. I'm pretty sure everybody who's watching this has seen it. Because if you didn't see it, you need it to be in my last video for popular movies that you haven't seen. You need to be in the last video, but if you haven't seen Incredibles 2, I really suggest you go watch that right now. I think I've seen that twice, too. I've seen it once with you, I've seen it once with them, and I've seen it a second time with my girlfriend. I saw it about four times. You've seen it four times? No, five. Five times? Mm -hmm. I don't... I, the most I get up to is three. <laughs> five. But, I mean, 
it might be worth watching five times because, like I said, it's a great movie. I've been waiting for this movie since I don't know how old. I was. Yeah, it was like. Yeah, you wasn't even born when the first one came out. Yeah, and I'm waiting for the new Toy Story 4 to come out. Oh, yeah, Toy Story 4 is coming out. Stay tuned for that. It hasn't, it's not out yet, so I can't talk about it. But I was in line, I, I promise you, we were in line with other little kids, right? Mm -hmm. We were in line with other little kids to go watch this movie. Me and my girlfriend were in line with other little kids to watch this movie. I gave zero Fs. I gave zero of them. Because, like, I, I think they've been talking about making a second, like, Fans have been like promoting it, like yo, they need to make an, they need to make an Incredibles two for like years, and they finally did it, and I believe that's why I was so big. But you damn right, I was in line, bought some tickets to go see Incredibles two. <laughs> Next movie, fourth movie on our list is Night School. Night School with Kevin Hart. And that other lady from Girls Trip with the little mole right here. I don't know her name. It's so, I'm so sorry. It's with a T, I think. Tiffany something, I think. Tiffany Haddish, yeah. Tiffany Haddish. I knew, knew it was Tiffany. And there but, was a lot of other famous people in there. Yeah, a lot of famous people. But that's... And Kevin Hart, my favorite act. I met him one time. I'm going to show you all the picture right now. That was the picture of when I met Kevin Hart. It was after my high school graduation. And I went to go meet him. Like, it wasn't my plan to go meet him. I was down South Street with my mom. She took me out. And we. she heard that there, that Kevin Hart was at some library selling a book. And I'm like, well, I, I love to see Kevin Hart, so let's go see him. To catch Kevin Hart, I, I just whoop your little ass for this. We had to buy a book, like a $20 book, his book, to go see him. I should whoop your ass for that, cause I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to spend twenty dollars on some book. I read it though. I read it. I promise I did read it. But I gave that book to my best friend Dane, my other best friend, Dane and Tay. But I gave it to Dane, cause Dane is a huge Kevin Hart fan. Anyway, off topic. Night school. Kevin Hart. He's like he's stupid, basically, and he had to take night school class to get a new job. A job that he wanted because he was trying to impress a girl that he couldn't afford. Guys, never do that for a girl. If she can't accept you for your broke self, you shouldn't be with her. My girlfriend accepts me for my broke self. And <laughs> that's all that matters. So, if she can't accept you while you're broke, she shouldn't accept you while you're rich. And I will get there one day. But anyway, nice school. He did that all that for a girl. And... He learned. He, he he became... No, he didn't learn. I lied. He yeah. didn't learn. This nigga took the test like 10 times and failed each time. I believe... I think he passed it once to, after like the 25th time. But it's a good movie. If, if you like to laugh, especially Kevin Hart. So you're going to laugh. But go check that movie out. Last but not least, the fifth movie on our list is... The Met. The Meg, the Megalodon. What's what's so ironic about this movie is, well, m me in this movie is because I hate I hate sharks and I hate big bodies of water. I'm gonna be honest with you, it scares the. It's, I'm sorry for my profanity. It scares the shit out of me, guys. This is just big yeah, bodies of water. It scares you too. Yeah, especially oh. not. <laughs> Listen, again, not to be racist. Not to be racist. I'm black. I cannot swim. Because <laughs> I know some black people who can swim, but I'm black. I can't swim. I fit the stereotype. But I, I just can't swim. So seeing this movie, it makes me very uncomfortable because I'm like, this thing was real at one point. And there, there, also, there are things down there that's big as hell. Like whales, for example. The sound of whales so beautiful, but it still scares the shit out of me, yeah. guys. It was, there was a video um, from, I think, Infinity List. He had a video of the ocean is way deeper than you think, and it's all these Yeah, birds. yeah, yeah. I seen that. It was like, ocean, and there's, guys, there's only 5% of the ocean. Do you know that? 
only 5% of the ocean found. There's a whole nother 95% out there. We don't know a damn thing about. And that's what scares me. Because I'm like, if you don't know what the fuck, if these scientists don't know what the fuck down there, how the hell am I supposed to know what the fuck's down there? And it's just very uncomfortable feeling. But The Meg is a great movie. Um, I'm pretty sure if you guys haven't seen it, you've seen like a preview or something, it's about a big ass prehistoric shark. I did another one. And yeah, and I was just about to say that. The first one. What's so ironic about that too is that big ass shark. That was the baby shark. And then there was another bigger ass shark. I don't even know if that's a word or if that goes right together. But it was another humongous ass shark who ate the other big ass mm -hmm. shark. And it didn't kill. Yeah, then it kills a couple people. It's a great movie though, don't get me don't get me wrong. I I think I watched that twice too. Yeah, we watched it when we were at the house. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's when I watched it. I watched it once in the theater with my friends Dane and Tay. I watched it once with him. But the movie is just... It's a good movie. It's a great movie. It's just me and big bodies of water just don't match. Like, oceans, lakes, ponds. Again, I can't swim, so I'm... Straight to the bottom. I don't know what that sound was. I don't know what I was trying to do. But straight to the bottom because I can't swim. And that's why these movies like that make me so uncomfortable. Like I seen 47 Meters Deep. There's another shark movie. Uncomfortable because I'm like, I can't do it. But that is our top five movies that you guys, you guys should watch. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, post notifications. Post notifications. He knows that this guy, mm -hmm. he might be my number one fan. Mm -hmm. Not fan, but my number one supporter. This guy is always watching my, my videos. He makes sure I have the views. He watches it on the TV. He oh. watches it on his phone. He gets his friends to watch it. This, mm -hmm. this is my man right here. So, appreciate him so much. It's also my camera guy, too. Mm -hmm. Like, the movie, um, I said the movie. The um, video for Halloween. Yeah, the Halloween movie, he recorded the whole thing. So, big shout out to him. He helps me out so much. But, again, like, subscribe, post notifications, comment, and we will see you guys next vlog. <laughs>